Do you guys remember when we came out to the savannas of Africa and we hunted for some Cape Buffalo with the longbow? There was this one warthog that kept attacking us, and you guys were saying that we should go after him. And quite frankly, I agree. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, warthog. Like... Oh, that hurt! You sucker! You sucker! I am so mad at that warthog right now. It's not even funny. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be going after this warthog with the 10 gauge loaded with buckshot. But before we do that, we have to clear some hunting pressure. Oh! Wow, that is one tough Cape Buffalo. Woo! Ah, first one was actually a right lung. Now we'll grab this one as well. Uh, second one was right lung. That was a female too. That's kind of a giant Gemsbok. It's a max weight and a max scoring potential male Gemsbok out there. I think it's a dark color as well. About 400 yards away. So we're gonna try and take him with the 30 odd six. But I think we're gonna try and get maybe on top of this roof here. So we can get a nice prone shot, and can we? Yeah, we should be able to. Okay, cool. All right, we're up, and let's go prone, and get to the edge of the roof here. So we can take about like a 400 yard shot. Definitely smoked him. Well, we just got over here, but I don't see any tracks whatsoever, so that is not cool. But we do have hunting pressure, so we know both of them went down. <laughs> but where I don't know is where they went. Oh my god, I found one. <sighs> I found one. We never would have... Oh, that's the big one. <laughs> I mean, we never would have found this thing because like there was no tracks anywhere, but that's a huge Gemsbok. Yeah, that's, it's a massive one. 311. We got a left lung at 393. Nice shot. I tried to catch the top of the heart, but we just hit a little bit too high, but I'll take it a 311 gold Gemsbok. And if we can get one more down, that should do the trick for our hunting pressure. Let's check. So where we found the warthog is way on the south end of the map, right over here. And right there is the zone. When we first started this hunt, it was all purple because we took down, I think, 4k buffalo here. So yeah, this was full of hunting pressure. And now we're good to go. I see one right there. Oh, here they come. Here they come. There's definitely three of them coming in now. Oh, hello. You remember us, don't you? Come on, give me some cover. <laughs> no cover. <laughs> oh, gotta love that. Come on, where is that big old four? A female there. That's him. We found him. Oh my God. I didn't expect for him to be there, but that's the one that we want. Although we do have a couple right on top of us here. I think we might have to pass them up. And try and focus on getting this big old four. Oh man, this one's right on top of us. Okay, good, that one's spooked. That's the one that we want right there in the back. If we could call those two in, it would be perfect. It's exactly what I want. He has a minimum on the score estimate of 51. So he's big, he's real big. But he's also real stubborn too. Look at him. Just sitting out there. Max weight and max score on that guy. Got a three there. There's another three. There's a female. And that's actually a pretty big three right there. Come on. Don't walk away from us. You know what? He's 70 out. I think we need to get a vital hit though. So if we don't get a vital hit, then this thing's not gonna go down. 
come on, come on. It's like he's slowly working his way this way. He's about 50 out. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. I guess we just have to try and creep on over there and get as close as we can because he is not interested. Not even a little bit. Look at all the warthogs right on top of us. So we got a nice three there. We got a female there and there's another three over there. So if we can keep these warthogs here, we should be able to take them down second. But the first one we want is definitely this big old male. Or the big boar, I should say. That's him right there. He's, uh, well, he's not eating anymore. Come on, just turn around. I'll take you at that distance if you stop. He's hit. Go boom. All three solid, solid hits. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Apparently the buckshot doesn't work as good as I thought. We only got one down. <laughs> That's not cool. I would have thought we'd have way more penetration than that. 50 yards. This thing should shoot 50 yards, you would think, but maybe not. Well, we got this one down. And it's a female. Hey, we found another warthog down here. I'm wondering if this is our big male. Hopefully it is. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. It wasn't a big male. It was actually a female, but she just got toasted with the buckshot. 42 yards, though. We're not getting any penetration. You see that? That should have been lung. So if you're going to make buckshot uh, legal for warthogs and not slugs, then give it some more penetration than that. 42 yards. I mean, come on. Well, we found our last warthog, which is probably going to be the big male. And he ran a long way, so there's no way we're going to get score out of that. A 52 gray. And are you absolutely kidding me? We only got three hits into that thing. But the one was going directly for the heart. Look at that. It hit the shoulder blade and stopped. Both of them hit the shoulder blade. And then the third one hit the intestine. But we didn't even get enough uh, penetration to hit the intestine here. I mean, I guess either way. We did take down our big warthog that attacked us, so that's kind of mission accomplished. But at the same time, I really would have liked to have used the slugs. If I would have known that, then I would just use slugs. But yeah, the buckshot. Uh, let's just say I'm not going to use the buckshot again for a while. I did have slugs equipped, but... So we did get pretty much all of our warthogs down. And that was a stomach liver at 106. But since we weren't able to get a full score on that big one, I kind of want to go out now and find another big warthog and use something that we can actually get full score with. That is not a track from a heavy warthog. Ooh, but that is... Big old three sneaking in the backside over here. He thought he was going to get away, but guess what? He thought wrong. That should be the big three, and it is, so at least we got a gold. A 47.50 gold. Double lung at 122. Yeah, he kind of got smoked. Actually, take a look at the hunting pressure here. Right here is where we got that big warthog, and you can see we took down all three warthogs right here. So, I mean, I guess we still accomplished the mission that we set out to do, and that is taking down the warthog that took us down. How did we take him down? We took down all four of those warthogs. Ooh, now that's what I'm talking about. I see a nice four here, and there's a really wide three right there. And there's a couple more that, you know what? This is going to work out really nice. It's exactly what I was looking for. A nice little herd of warthogs that we can try and hunt. But unfortunately, the wind is blowing directly at the herd of warthogs at this point. So we'll have to wait and be patient. But the wind is actually slowly shifting to the right. So that means we won't have to wait too much longer. Also, I did check, uh, well, the stats on 20 gauge slugs. And apparently you can use 20 gauge slugs on warthogs, which that reminds me, I don't want to be zeroed in for 100 yards. 50 is good. Well, the same thing kind of happened again, and it looks like only one. <gasps> oh, you. Only one wanted to come in. The big male is not coming in. So we had to figure out a way to sneak past him here. And try and find him. That's him right there. 
There's also a three next to him too. He doesn't want to come in either for some reason. There's the four. Oh, that hurt. Oh. I hit too far forward, huh? Got him that time. We got one shot left. Woo! Really? I would have thought that that would have done some more damage than that. Come on, run, 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 run. That's not cool. Come on, where do you think you're going? Boom! What about you, huh? Oh, you sucker. Jeez, we ain't even messed up our uh, level f Oh, that was only level three. That wasn't even the four. Okay, good. So that means that big four is still around. We're gonna have to come back and go get him in a second. But for now, I see something right there. I don't know what that is. There's a three. Oh man, I thought it was for surely gonna be him. Well, at least we got a three. What is that? Yeah, that's that three. Still no sign of our massive four unless... No, that's a female. Another female. Well, that's a really good three. Oh, I don't even have a shot. Still don't have a shot. But I definitely do now. <laughs> oh man, we just smoked those war dogs. I didn't find the four yet, but <laughs> come on, where are you at? That thing is toast. That's not even the one that we want, but I figured we might as well take him down as well. Nice. Okay. I really would like to find that four. So at this point, well, we might just try and get out of his track and see where he went. But let's grab this one. That's a female. That is a female. We heart shot her. And this should be the three. Right lung, that's the three. So he really wasn't that big, but... Was that all we got? I think so. Oh no, there's one more. I think this is the big three. Or it's a female, because I can't see Tuss. Yeah, that's a female. Ooh, that's another max weight and max scoring potential Warthog out there at about 250. We don't have a good wind right now though, so we're gonna have to wait and be patient. But is he the only one out there that I can see? Besides a couple of Gemsbok here? Hold up, hold up, I see a couple more. Ooh, lot, lots, lots more. Still only that one big one. Uh, that's actually another decent one there. So it looks like we have at least two potentially decent Warthogs to go after. And we're getting some calls from some more. So who knows what's going to happen. Ooh, that's actually a pretty big Wildebeest right there. I don't think we're going to pass him up. Smoked him. Yeah, he's down. Okay, we're trying to swing around here to get to this Warthog and that Wildebeest popped up so we had to take him down. Which potentially could have spooked our Warthog, but I don't know. It's kind of a chance we had to take. Either way, he was going to spook, so it's like, we might as well take him down. There's a chance that he didn't spook. So we'll grab him. Yeah, it definitely looks like we made a good shot. Double lung at 38 yards and he's a 36 gold but our warthog I don't think we spooked him I don't think we spooked him because if these Gemsbok are still here then there's no way that warthog spooked okay well we finally found that max weight warthog he's right over here I just saw him right down here and he was drinking I believe but right now we're trying to crawl past these Gemsbok look at that look at that they're right there we're going right past them Oh my god! Is that... It's not the right one. It's a big one, but it's not the right one. Before we get hit one more time, let's use our med kit. 
<laughs> this is not happening again. This is not happening again. <laughs> oh, hello. Look at him. Good, run away. So I spotted him. Like right there. Ooh, that's a nice Gemsbach right there. It's a real nice one. You know what? I'm pretty sure he was right next to this Gemsbach. There he is. We finally found him. He's right there. Perfectly broadside at, I think like 50. It's hard to tell. Yeah, he's about 50 out. Man, we can't get much closer than this. We have to though, we absolutely have to. Well, we're gonna try and sneak past this Gemsbach here. Hopefully the wind stays in our favor and doesn't blow directly at him. I'm honestly thinking that that Gemsbach scared away our... Oh. We found him. We just snuck up to 25 yards away. He's right there. We're gonna go for him. Wait till he steps out a little bit. He's down. We just dropped him. <laughs> finally. We finally got a max weight warthog. And he's a gold, a giant gold. Left lung, liver, stomach at 16 yards away, a 54. Wow, that's probably one of the biggest four warthogs that I've ever gotten in Call of the Wild right there. The other one we got, uh, was that one? The beginning scored like 51, which, I mean, yeah, that was a nice one, but this thing is way bigger and I'm so glad we made a nice shot 16 yards away and that's a huge gold warthog. Definitely gonna get him out and, and put him in our lodge. All right, so I'm gonna show you where we just got this huge warthog at, and we're over here by the Nutbella Mupfa outpost right here, and there's a water hole right here. At first, we saw him over here drinking at six o'clock in the morning, and we took down three warthogs here. Then, I ended up finding him the second time right over here from 4.30 until eight o'clock in the morning. I told you we we're gonna come back and get him. That's him out there at 250. He's the level four that we saw right before we took down that big mythical lion. And then there's another four right back over there. He's way, way back tucked in there. And honestly, I think we're gonna try and get him first. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna worry about it after this, but we're gonna take this one down first at 250. So he's down and let's find the four. I can't tell which one's him. I think that's him. I really think that's him. Or is that him? That's, that's him. That's, that's him. Ooh, perfect, he's down. All right, so I think we got both fours. I'm pretty sure that's the one right there. That's definitely the one that has the crown tusks on him. He's really, really narrow and really cool. So I'm glad we got him down. And the other one was actually a little bit wider, so we ended up getting two of them. We'll grab this one. A 50.9 gold, double lung at 252. That's a very cool one right there, and that thing was toast. Almost made a heart shot, it looks like. And this one was another gold. A 49.20 double lung at 280 yards. Another really nice shot, and with that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.